Yeah, hello everyone, Every Max here, and welcome back to another cooking video. So, last time I taught you guys how to make some uh, classic, traditional, uh, simple version of red wine sauce. Uh, but And this time I'm going to make you a particular uh, red wine sauce uh, called red wine gravy. Now, I'm making this because one time I was like eating, the, uh, eating KFC and thought, Man, I wish the gravy or the chicken was a bit spicier. So I and I'm and thus I made red wine gravy. Now the red wine gravy I had was uh, really flavorful and had pepper, salt, and paprika. However, since my parents are allergic to paprika, I can't use it. But if you and your family aren't allergic to paprika, I highly suggest you add some. But for this version, uh, I, you are going to need some a cup of red wine. I'm using some sweet red wine, but you can also use like spiced wine if you want, or just regular red wine. Well, it doesn't matter, as long as it's red wine. And you're going to need at least three tablespoons of butter, uh, some three tablespoons of flour, and a tablespoon of salt, and a tablespoon of pepper right here. Now, I've, and also two to four cups, uh, two to four cups of uh, beef, chicken, or vegetable stock. I've already made it right here in this small, uh, small pan. So yeah. All right. Now first, I've already got my, the saucepan preheated. So let's add the butter in. Okay. So yeah. Okay, so just grab a large chunk of it and just put it in there. Now you're gonna wanna stir it until it's melted, alright? Get it all over the side. Now, once the butter is fully melted, you add in the three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, and you just mix it until it's no longer uh, super solid or liquidy. All right, just mix it into the butter. And if you think it's still a bit dry, feel free to add a bit more butter into it. Okay, yeah, like I said, stir until there's no, no longer any solid chunks. Just keep stirring. And I'm actually gonna add a bit more, a little bit more butter. Uh, but not too much, just like a small chunk. There. And uh, just let it melt all over the pan. Yeah. Now, remember, Melt it and stir at low to medium heat. Now, once it's done, you add in the cup of your red wine. Ah, smells delicious. Now just stir and stir. Now you're gonna wanna stir it for around uh, two to three minutes until uh, it's a bit uh, the texture has become a, has become a lot creamy and you can't taste that much alcohol. And uh, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. 
Okay guys, I am back. Just had to take a quick leap. And uh, so yeah, uh, once it's night, once the texture is nice and creamy and no longer taste that strong of alcohol, you're gonna wanna add in your, uh, your stock. Now just mix and mix and mix. And keep mixing it for around, uh, I'd say, at least three to five minutes until the texture is nice and creamy. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is gonna take a while, so I'll get back to you in uh, a few more minutes once it's uh, gone to that nice creamy texture, uh, Shaisa. Okay, so yeah, uh, it's been a few minutes now, and time for us to add in our uh, seasoning. I really wish I could add uh, paprika into this. Alright, so once it's done, you just keep stirring and stirring for another three minutes or so. Uh, so yeah, I'll get back to uh, to you guys in a bit once it's done stirring and once it's cooled off for a bit. Okay, so yeah, after a few minutes of letting it cool down, uh, it's time to taste test. Now, uh, just a quick side note, I I think I may have uh, uh, goofed up on the amount of flour I added in because I think because I think I added too little since the sauce is not the creamy in texture, it's still that, uh, it's still quite liquidy like regular red wine sauce, but for the most part, uh, let's taste test it, cause sure it may not be creamy, but, but hopefully the, the taste will, uh, will make up for that. Delicious. Masarap. Honestly, if this were uh, in creamy gravy texture, well, this would have been so much better. But yeah, like I said, I may have goofed up on the amount of, of flour. So yeah, remember three tablespoons and uh, three tablespoons of flour. No more, no less. So uh, yeah, but it's still pretty good though. I give it a, at least three and a half, if not, uh, maybe four or a three and a half out of five, because the first time I made this, this was, it was creamy in texture. So yeah, I'd give that a five, but this, uh, since it's not creamy, I give it, I give myself a three and a half, if not a four. So yeah, but anyway, that's, if you like this video, please hit that like, subscribe, check out my Facebook page, link down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!